The Hard Truth with Akosia Konedu. Only on Vice at One. Brought to you by Echo Bank. Academic skills alone currently can't really guarantee you with uh, a sure job, let me say. How are you going to change that, looking at uh, low uh, uh, infrastructure in the country? Uh, people are not hiring. So you talk about certain mandates which you are not in charge of. Let me ask, so how do you ensure that when graduates come out of school, they are ready jobs? Or when we do, we normally organize our voluntary work camps. And we, when we, we do organize some of these work camps or boot camps, we, we encourage young people to do personal development as well. Because um, we live in a globalized world. People can come into Ghana and um, compete with your crew members for a position on 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 on, on set mm. you know and it's very important that um as young people we would upgrade ourselves we would we would take personal development seriously i, I find this all talk huh it is young not. people we talk to them but they need some skills so what are no, you I mean, about that it, you, 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 don't, you don't need you don't you don't need resources to sometimes you do no sometimes no, you no, do no, taking no. it from me no I did a startup. Sometimes okay. you, you, you need something small. I was going to make a point. And the point I was going to make is that um, if you went to your library, right. and even if you were reading statistics or law and you decided to read on the economy, you're building yourself. That's personal development. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying you don't need extra resources to be able to do that. And fortunately for us, today there's a lot of, there's a wealth of information online on any subject under the sun. And young people must avail themselves to all of this material that are available for, you know, upgrading themselves. And even people are even offering courses for free even online So today. after after the degree, what do we do? There are no jobs. What, what, what happens? It is not just about degree because when, when, you, when you talk about formal education, you, you're not taking into consideration the people who who have the misfortune of not completing school. And we are not only No, I am dealing, asking you, I know that, but I'm We are I'm not asking, only dealing with and people And you are not with dealing with that, the, the other side too, it's, it's both. So I'm asking you, specifically, yes. after school, no jobs, little knowledge, little skills, what should they do? We would hope that we can incorporate uh, some form of uh, entrepreneurship, in our school system and um, give young people you know training on that before they graduate and and that is very useful mm. you know because when you when you finish school and you're out there looking for jobs I mean one job you would have a lot of people signing up for it so you've got to have something that is extra if you have additional skills on how to start up that would go a long way to helping you and fortunately these days there are a lot of funding out there from government sources and you know non-governmental sources mm -hmm. including you know support from your sponsors you know so if a young person has completed school and does not know that he can access opportunities here obviously that's a problem but and can, that is can, why can when they walk to you yes can, can, can someone with a whatever qualification walk and say I say I have I have this qualification that and I need your outfit to help, what would you do to search people? We would counsel them. And that is why I'm very interested and we've been pushing for offices all over the country so that somebody doesn't have to come all the way to Tamale or to Accra or to Kumasi or to Ho to get to, get to talk to some, somebody. So after the counseling, what happens? Is it like your, a surety or so, so it's like you're, you're guiding them on, 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 on what to do with themselves. Somebody finishes and they don't even know, you know where to go next. They may even have brilliant ideas. How to even put them on paper is a problem. So you make sure um, you guide them. And that's why I said we do organize work camps and boot camps. 
And whenever we do organize this, this stuff, um, you know, we get to bring in experts in these areas, in the areas, areas of business, to give them the requisite training. And hopefully sometime soon, um, knowing very well that you've started on, ver you know, on um, very humble beginnings and you are doing quite well. We may invite you to come and talk to some of the young people as well. Well, I think that if you're home and you need a job, this is the right guy. He has <laughs> loads and lots of con uh, contacts that you need to uh, open. And uh, you're still watching The Hard Truth. We'll be right back this day on. The Hard Truth with Akosia Konedu. Only on Vice at One. Brought to you by Echo Bank. Echo Bank, we see a great future. One that's full of opportunity for those who want to be the best. With over 1,000 branches of a single bank across 33 African countries. It's a future where trade can flourish without boundaries. The future is breathtaking with enormous cross-border investments helping business and government build new infrastructure. While individuals achieve their ambitions right across Africa. The future is Pan-African and Ecobank is the Pan-African Bank. Chief Executive Officer of the National Youth Authority. It's here. NYA has indicated that um, it has achieved a lot in pursuing the agenda for adolescent health development. With training of uh, peer leaders, queen mothers, providing training uh, materials and so on. However, when you go to the Brangahafu region, where the program is being executed, and currently ranked as uh, the third in the country. Can you say that this program has actually helped the adolescent in, in this area? Well, obviously you would wish that whatever you roll out would reach everybody who is in, within the age bracket you're dealing with. Oh. But um, it will interest you to know that we're not even doing every district in the Brown for region. You know, so over time, um, we may reach out to all all districts in the Brown region and subsequently to every corner of the country. And um, let me use this opportunity to commend... Waste. Teenage pregnancy is on the rise there. So uh, it, is it a waste of time? It you is not. It's, it's, it's a waste of you time. Know, you these are things that the you... The training and what, what you're doing has really gone down to, to, to them. There. These are things Even that... You, from where you started. These with. are things that you, you're going to have to keep doing again and again and again and again till, you know, we all buy in. But like I, I keep saying everywhere I get the opportunity, um, bringing young people up in the way that we would wish is not the exclusive preserve of the school system mm. or government, mm. society as a whole. You know, um, when I was growing up in the 80s, you could actually get spanked by your neighbor. Or you could be, yes. You can't do that now. You can't do that no now. Way. You know, so certain values, we are, we are losing out on certain things. So we should go back there. We, it's important. It's what makes us unique, what makes us Ghanaian. You know, uh, the, the, we've acquired a four, uh, 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 I don't want to call it crazy, but it's, we've acquired a frustrating taste for everything foreign. So what, what would you say is the accounting factors to, to these high uh, teenage pregnancy in, in such areas? If the, the youth, do you think again that if the youth had ready jobs available, and had your hands busy with some skills and training, they wouldn't want to indulge. A lot of these like folks are, 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 are not people who should be working anyway, you know, be minded by the labor laws of, of our country. You know, a lot of these kids, uh, people who can only pay the labor laws, be allowed to do um, uh, soft labor, like they finish school and they, they go back to work. That's if they would work again, because at that age, you know, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you expect them to be in school and not be working, you know. So um, 
television, peer pressure, you name it. But I'm saying um, bringing children up well begins from the home. And um, the school system has to be involved. Communities would have to be involved. In the old days, neighbors were, you know, very forthcoming with information. If they saw their children doing something bad, they would actually report the child to the parent. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, today you can't do that. So and and, from, and it's, it's quite unfortunate. Right, ap apart from we going back to our roots where you could actually cane someone's child for, for misbehaving, apart from but let me even, like let that, me even But let me even qualify that. I mean, this is not to say that I'm promoting, you know, caning uh, uh, um, young, young people, but I'm just saying there are methods we could use in, 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 in helping get the minds of our youth off some of these things. Religious institutions, the, the, the masjids, the churches, the synagogues, we can use all of these things and all of us would have to be involved. Yenarai Assassini, mm. if one kid from somewhere becomes wayward, it's telling on all of us. It's, it's an indictment on all of us as a society because whatever bad things that the kid would do wouldn't you know, uh, affect that person's family or that person's immediate family, but society as a whole. So let, let's take it up upon ourselves and uh, ensure that through the, the, the religious institutions, school systems, you know, we are putting in place the building blocks to ensuring that we are having, we are bringing up kids who become responsible adults. When are you taking the uh, next uh, project? So Bronga Half, where, where would you move to again? For um, next year, we're hoping that we can do the three northern regions, Greater Accra, Eastern and Ashanti. Okay, at the same time. At the same time, Good. you know, and um, we are having discussions with our partners and hopefully when the funding is there, uh, we great. should be able to... One money to, uh, we should, no, I mean, quite a challenge for a discount Well, now, in the past, yes, uh, issues of um, drug abuse, uh, especially in the second cycles and tertiary institutions were rampant and there were consistent education on that. Currently, there seems to be... It's gone down. Yeah. It, there seems to uh, uh, be the prescription method now. So we go in for anything we, we, we think it's, it's good for our health, aphrodisiacs, all sorts of medications which are open on the market. As, as you or your outfit, what is your position on this and what campaign... Uh, uh, um, messages have you put in place to curtail it? We, we have looked critically at hard substance, substance abuse, but I must confess that we haven't looked at, you know, um, some of these things because these are not stuff that you can get in the ghettos. You know, if you wanted a petition, you could get it in some corner. If you wanted marijuana, you could get it in some ghetto. But these are things that you get from sometimes Pharmacies, you know, and um, it's it's an indictment on on all of us, right. you know. So we we let me use this opportunity to. Uh, I know the Ghana Health Service is doing quite well in 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 in, in ensuring that there's discipline within its ranks, but with continued education, I'm sure we would um, we would get there just the way we did with the with with with, with hard substance, you know. But we haven't really doled out a program to uh, get people's minds because off I'm saying that substance abuse. We, we, on, on, on radios yeah. and on our media airwaves. We are promoting them. Exactly. So how do you... We are promoting them. So there are people with... They are, and, and sometimes, you know, there are some adverts you can't even listen to with your, with your kids at home. You know, it's, 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 it's very difficult. But I hope that everyone will do their bit. And like I said, it's not... The National Youth Authority's job alone, all of us, parents, the media, religious institutions. I mean, we do them in a way that they've become normal now. Mm -hmm. You know, daytime, you are hearing about certain aphrodisiacs, certain medicines, and you're wondering, wow, what are we doing to our society? So what, you, you don't care? What, what no, you? we do. Right. We do, except to say that those things they are advertising are targeted at a particular age group. Mm -hmm. Because if you put that advert out in the morning, obviously, they know it's adults who are listening. You know, but I'm saying we should be mindful because kids could be listening as well. Mm -hmm. 
we have a mandate. There are people we're working with, 15 to 35. We're doing everything possible to make sure that they stay off apetishi, off coke and crack, off marijuana, and anything that would definitely uh, destroy their, their lifestyle. This is not to say that we wouldn't be involved, but, I mean, we can't do everything. That's why I commended um, the Ghana Health Service, and I think there's a lot that needs to be done. Uh, the Pharmacy Council should take it upon itself. The Media Commission should also, you know, uh, really and truly clamp down on some of these so things. As a stakeholder in the development... We, are, worried. we are very worried. We, I want, yes, I want we, to know what steps, we, what are you doing specifically? We, we are worried, and um, obviously, now that it's come up, in our work plan for 2017 we can we can we can look at it again but as i said um there has been the need to focus on getting young people off some of these very hard drugs appetition coke and crack and stuff like that these are things that are sophisticated mm -hmm. you can't even get some of these hard drugs in the villages so it's become a problem in urban areas but it is an issue that we can equally take up it is an issue that the Ministry of Education should take up. It is an issue that churches and mocks and synagogues and everybody should be involved in, in ensuring that, you know, you can't just walk to a pharmacy and buy certain drugs. We'll be right back. The Hard Truth with Akosia Kunedu, only on Vice at One. Brought to you by Ecobank. Bank, we see a great future, one that's full of opportunity for those who want to be the best. With over 1,000 branches of a single bank across 33 African countries, it's a future where trade can flourish without boundaries. The future is breathtaking with enormous cross-border investments helping business and government build new infrastructure. While individuals achieve their ambitions right across Africa. The future is Pan-African and Ecobank is the Pan-African Bank. Welcome back to the hard truth proudly brought to you by Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank. Rats says with Ecobank anyway. You do, yes? Yes, I do. CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. CEO of uh, National Youth Authority is still here. Now, sir, the National Youth Authority policy lists get uh, rich quicker. Attitudes is one of the challenges that the youth is facing now. Currently, uh, or unfortunately, statistics uh, on youth who have fallen prey on rehabilitation for uh, this cant or scum is quite on the rise. I want to ask you, so is your outfit worried about the rise of, of such scum, people wanting to get rich using whatever means they available to them? We have, and um, I've actually engaged the German embassy um, to help us do you know, uh, documentaries. And um, it looks like there are a couple of other um, missions. Hold on, you've asked the German, what? Embassy. To help you yeah. with? You know, funding to okay. to do some documentaries. Anyway, because so it's, let, it's let me advertise then. So, so if you no, get the funding, you can bring the contract to, to us. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to sign so, on that so then. It's, so it's two ways. <laughs> because you realize a lot of people, they, they scam... Uh, wealthy Europeans and Americans and um, there's a need for us to collaborate you know and ensuring that we are educating people through drama through TV programs and, and, and radio programs and um, if, if we so happen to get the funding and um, you so bid and qualify why not <laughs> oh, it has to go through public procurement processes friend, so we have to give it to me. Yeah. i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm kidding but but really what what's accounting to to this what, what do you think is accounting for young people as as young as 15 16 17 18 19 20 wanting to get rich overnight and then recently if you heard about 
uh, that guy, 21 year old, who tried to behead his friend, and the guy was quite fortunate to, to get out for to cry for help. Why would people the, want the, to the, get these the things? Child? Have been with us for a very long time, you know. And I remember growing up and seeing newspaper mm. uh, um, headlines of people beheading neighbors' children or something like that, and taking it elsewhere for rituals. For rituals. Um, now it's become sophisticated. They're not even doing that anymore. There's something they call the uh, sakawa or something like that, where they use uh, crafty internet. They use you know crafty ways to uh, get resources from people through through emails. And I'm sure you might have got gotten that. Yeah, I'm uh, smiling uh, because uh, I, I don't know. I wonder how them. they get they get that that you that. Know, um, these are bad habits that we have picked up. You know from one of the downsides of, 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 of the internet, but obviously it's a source of good. We should, as best as possible, use it for a lot of positive stuff. But public education, let's, let's, keep, let's, keep, let's keep reminding them. Let's keep um, showing them posters and videos and, and drama, theater, of, of the implications of some of these things. That's mm -hmm. the only way you can drum home the point that um, if you don't get busted, it doesn't mean you would not get busted forever. Mm -hmm. That one day, one day, you'll be caught. You'll be caught, and that the the full rigors of the law would take its toll on you. You know, but all of us would have to be involved in, 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 in right. getting the You realize out. again that the unemployed youth have generally been a target for political parties in propagating violence during elections. What practical have steps? They? Well, what practical steps? have your outfit taken to educate and engage the youth in productive discourse so they desist from such practices? We're making a lot of noise this election year and uh, we've made a, lo a lot of noise in previous election years to ensure that they don't become tools for, for violence. And I, I was giving um, a group of young people I met recently an analogy that a lot of these old folks have made it anyway. They mm -hmm. have, you know, they are married, they have kids, they have family. So if you allow anybody to get you into taking up arms or, or civil disobedience, you know, um, you might be destroying your future. Mm -hmm. um, they are about dying off. This is yours. Protect it. You know, and I was making the point that every generation has a mission either to fulfill that mission or to betray that mission. As, as young people, our you know, uh, duty is to ensure that the sacrifices of, of our founding fathers are not in vain, that we but, guard but and what, protect. What of that? You, you said you have um, all uh, youth agencies under your umbrella. Uh, all what, youth what? groups. Right, all youth uh, when groups. When I say youth groups, I mean youth-led groups or okay. youth-focused groups. So, would you organize, or is there a way to perhaps organize some seminars for them? We are, in know? the regions, we are, yes. We've, 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 you know, we, we, we've, rolled out, uh, we've rolled out a raft of programs from now up until election, you know, talking to young people, doing street campaigns, sending the messages across. But media is exp expensive. We would have wished that um, everyone is supporting our efforts, but sad as it may we just would have to do our best and hope that you know um the media would be able to also highlight some of the peaceful messages that we are sending out for us to you know uh, protect preserve the peace that we so enjoy i keep saying that peace is the single most important wealth of any country mm. you know and it's it's it's, it's, it's it, it, you should safeguard that more than you would even safeguard your gold and diamond. And um, the message is getting down well. So you are preaching peace across. We are pre preaching, we right. are preaching peace across. Right. Talk to the youth of Ghana. What, what should we expect? There's one thing that I fervently talk about when I get the opportunity. The brand Ghana. The, the, the sad bit about our taste for foreign goods, that's killing us. And that's one of the reasons why we can't have 
as many jobs as we want for our youth. Because we have, if you're buying everything from China, clearly you're not going to make anything. And if you're not making anything, <laughs> um, you can't get people employed. So let's make a conscious effort that we also want to make Ghana prosperous as private citizens. I mean, as private citizens, we have every right to wear what we want and eat what we want. But I'm saying for the sake of the children and, 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 and tomorrow's children, let's eat Ghana. Look, you fly Kenya Airways, and they even, the, the, the rice they even serve you in Kenya Airways is local rice. We don't do that. You know, everybody wants to wear suit and tie in hot African sun. And we expect that we would have factories, and we are deluding ourselves that we can have factories everywhere in the country. So when patronize made in Ghana goes this way. Patronize made in Ghana goes. Mm. And not just, not just patronize it, but promote it. Because if you buy it and you keep it in your wardrobe and only wear it on Friday, Akusia. Right. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to the hard truth. Anyone our conversation? I think we should we should work on it. Huh? I'll come back again, inshallah. Sure. Ras Mubarak, uh, that's his nickname, but it's his name. It's actually my real name now. Ras Mubarak, yes. is your name? I did uh, something the lawyers call a deed poll. Mm. And if you do the deed poll, you add that to your names. So, so you are Ras Abudlai Mohammed, uh, Mohammed Mubarak, Mubarak. But because that's a mouthful, hey. I mean, this is Brandon. <laughs> anyway, so Ras Abudlai Mohammed uh, Mubarak, uh, the Chief Executive Officer of the uh, National Youth Authority, uh, has been our guest on the show. Is there a number to contact you, Alfred, if, if uh, yes, you zero want to? Yes, 030. Mm -hmm. I'm not good with numbers, but I've done well zero with three zero two 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 one two four six. So if you want to get in touch with him or the uh, or agency. send us an email. Good. Um, admin at nye.gov.gh. Mm -hmm. Admin at nye.gov.gh. Or call them 0302. Uh, two one two four six. This being the hard truth, and uh, we proudly brought to you by Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank. My name is Nana Akosia Kunidwa Santi Samuels. But please, we need your, your views and comments on do you think the youth of Ghana have the uh, right employment skills? And are there available jobs, as he's claiming there are already jobs in Ghana? We want to know about your comments. Send it to us on The Hard Truth uh, on our Facebook page. Have a wonderful evening. Bye. The Hard Truth with Akosia Kunedu, only on Vice at One. Brought to you by Echo Bank.